Hi guys, now welcome to my YouTube video and today I'm going to talk about how YouTube is a job. Like YouTube, you literally have to punch in and punch out and either upload videos or you have to promote your videos so that you can get views and increase your watch time so that you can have the 4,000 hours that it requires you to be able to get paid through AdSense. Now, YouTube and working a full-time job at the same time is pretty difficult because when you are at your job, you are feeling as if you want to escape so bad because you just don't like it at your job or your job doesn't pay you enough or you just don't want to deal with the people at your job. For whatever reason, you just don't want to be there. And then you are so exhausted from your current job, you just feel drained. And then you have to go home from your eight hours and then go straight to making youtube videos and you have to upload the video you know have it scripted and you know write it and say how you feel in front of a camera and you want to basically put your all and your best foot forward into youtube but it's almost seeming like it's so hard because you've used all your energy at your eight hours at your job and it's like man if only i didn't have a job i would be a better youtuber because then i'd be more productive in my videos i'll have more energy you know i won't seem so tired while i'm doing my videos but then you have the stress worry of not making money because youtube will not pay you unless you have four thousand watch hours and with youtube you get paid every single month on like a regular job where you get paid either two weeks or one week so it's like it's pretty hard like for me like i work about eight to ten hours a day so i have to get up around 5 30 in the morning to start my shift at eight o'clock sometimes i wake up at six because i'm so tired from doing youtube videos uploading them and trying to promote them till 11 o'clock and it's like your job is so draining to the point where you have no more energy to really do YouTube. And it's like if you don't post, no one's going to see your post. But if you do post, then you have the problem of you get no views because you don't know how to title your video. You don't have no thumbnail, no editing. You're just talking to a camera just like this in hopes of people watching your video. And... My experience just working a full-time 40-hour work week job with doing YouTube, I feel as if I'm doing two jobs. It's just one job doesn't pay me and the other one does. And with YouTube, I'm more happy doing YouTube than working my job. Even though YouTube doesn't pay me because I still have more energy when I'm doing YouTube than my job. Because I work at the airport and I put luggages in a baggage cart and the baggage cart goes into the airplane and some of the luggages can be ranging from small to medium to large to extra heavy you know and you're doing two flights a day which is like three to four hours of a flight and you are doing about a hundred bags per flight so you're either you sometimes get to take a break but most times you don't get to take a break so you're just lifting heavy bags into a cart and it gets to you sometimes you know and I'm at a point where it's like I'm literally burnt out like I'm burnt out from doing my job and doing YouTube at the same time because you know I have a passion for making motivational videos and I want to be able to motivate and inspire people to chase their dreams but my career passion does not pay me at the moment the only way it pays me is through when I impact somebody's life when someone says, oh, you've really helped me out today. Thank you so much for this advice. You know, that really gets me going. So that's why I continue to do this, even though I don't get paid, you know. But I'm at a point where I'm at my job and it's like, I don't want to work for money because I'm working for money. And the money that I'm getting for the things that I'm doing for it, it doesn't equal the amount of happiness that I get from YouTube. And with my job, I'm always tired. You know, I have to basically use it just to pay bills. And 
I'm just paying bills and then I'm left with nothing left over. So it's like, I would rather do something that I'm happy and not feeling like I'm always complaining all the time and I have more energy to do and I'll be more successful at it because I have more energy to put in, you know, than to just get paid somewhere and not have no energy at all because my body is literally almost shutting down on me. Like, I'm always tired, you know, I'm sleeping on the train, rides to go to work and back home. You know, my body is starting to hurt, my back is starting to hurt, you know, because I'm doing so much exercise during the day that I should just go straight home and sleep. And But I can't do that because if I don't post a YouTube video, I might not get no views, you know. So it's just balance and trying to chase your dreams at the same time because if you really want your dreams to come true bad enough, you will do whatever it takes to make your dreams happen and if you don't have that type of mindset then your dream is not going to happen your dream is just going to remain a hobby and no one's going to believe in you no one's going to take you seriously so you have to have a dream to go for because if you don't you'll be stuck at a job that is killing you and you don't even realize it you know i started this clothing brand you know motivated nyc which means motivated now you conquer your dreams your goals your ambitions to succeed you then inspire others to chase their dreams while spreading kindness, love, and positivity. You know, we are surrounded by people who are, you know, too scared to chase their dreams, so they throw shade on your dreams. I want to shed light to it as long as you're motivated, dedicated to chasing your dreams every single day, that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. And that's the, you know, mission that I'm on, you know, I give motivational advice in my videos every single day to chase your dreams. And I've started since January 1st and I've been uploading a whole bunch of shorts and I'm trying to upload long form content and it's, it takes a toll on me because I don't go to sleep right away. You know, I get home around 6 PM from work and from around 7, I started my YouTube journey at 7 o'clock, and then I try to finish, like, around 9 o'clock the latest. But sometimes I feel as if, if I give up at that single time, I'm not going to put my full potential in it. So I stay from 7 to 11. So it's like I'm working a 9 to 5 in the morning, and then I'm doing a 5 to 9 at the afternoon. So I don't go to sleep right away. And then when I do go to sleep at around 11, 12-ish, I have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning. So it's like I'm only getting about five, maybe six hours of sleep. And I'm always at work, always tired. So it's like, you know, it just, it's rough. But that's what you have to go through in order to make the dream come true. If you don't go through any challenges, then it's not going to be a dream. So that's why I'm always trying to push having a dream on the side. Like, you cannot just work for somebody for the rest of your life because they took the risk to make sure that you have something so that you can eat and you can survive so why not make yourself survive on your own you know be dependent on yourself so it all depends on what you want and what you are willing to do to make your dreams come true because you have to make them come true it's not going to be easy but it's worth the ride but you know if you just work the job for somebody else it's not going to be worth anything because you already know that you're comfortable and comfort zone kills dreams. You know, telling the wrong person your dreams will kill your dreams. So always have something higher than yourself. You know, surprise yourself. Make more goals for yourself so that you can actually have action that you can take for yourself so that you can see what you're capable of and just see the greatness that is in you because everyone has great things that is in them, but they just don't know until they try. And you always have to try and you can never give up in the middle of the process because if you do, you'll never get there. But if you keep going, you'll always get there. So, but it's just like YouTube is literally a full time job. And I feel as if you shouldn't have to chase money when you are doing YouTube because if you chase money, you're going to quit. You know, chasing that money, you know, you can make a lot of money with YouTube. But if you literally chase money while doing YouTube, you will not survive. Like, you literally have to do passion project with YouTube so that you can continue to keep posting videos because YouTube requires a lot of watch time hours for you to be able to 
get paid. You know, you have to work for it because you could upload 10 videos. If you don't get no views, you don't get no watch hours. And if your watch hours don't increase, you're not going to get paid. You could have a thousand subs and you won't get paid because you don't have 4,000 watch hours. So you really truly have to want it to be able to do more for yourself because if you don't do anything for yourself, it's going to catch up to you. Just like how burnout is catching up to me, you know, so always just have a dream to go for it. But this is the conclusion of this video. If you did like it, please leave a comment section down below and tell me how your YouTube journey is going. If you are working a full time job and doing YouTube or a part time job doing YouTube and just tell me how your progress is during your you know, channel. If you are monetized or if you are close, just let me know all in the comment section. I would love to respond to it and Thank you for watching this video and have a good one. Let's go. Thank you.